Hi, um, my name's Andrew. I'm a software developer at the British, Ge British Geological Survey, and I'm going to talk to you today about some of our work and lessons we had in bringing some DevOps to techniques to our development and deployment of software. So who are the BGS? Uh, we're the world's oldest geological survey. We were founded in 1835, and we're probably best known for our geological mapping, which started out hand-inked and paper-based uh, before becoming digital, but now the focus is more on data delivery, so apps, websites, 3D models, uh, bespoke systems for public, government, and industry. So software at the BGS is quite a heterogeneous beast. There's a lot of freedom to use the right tool for the job. We have a range of developers and scientists all writing code uh, with varying levels of expertise and output requirements. But we found that this could lead to quite isolated, unstructured, monolithic projects, often with infrequent deployments. So could DevOps help? Uh, continuous integration, continuous deployment had the opportunity to provide some structure to the software development process and reduce some of the overheads and manual deployments. Within the organization, there's been a slow move from subversion to Git and a self-hosted hosted GitLab, and that has allowed um, us to open up a suite of tools that are within the systems that developers interact with day to day. Uh, monitoring and logging was another thing we identified as important to allow proactive detection and recovery from issues rather than waiting for the public to let us know things have gone wrong. Um, the BGS doesn't have a traditional dev and ops boundaries um, as we potentially know them. The developers are responsible for the development, deployment, uh, maintenance of applications uh, with infrastructure, networking, and a bit of security provided by an in-house team. And tools such as Vagrant and Ansible have been really useful in allowing us to bridge um, those two teams and allow them to collaborate a lot more closely in the software development cycle. And finally, microservices such as Docker have been very useful for starting to break up some of the monolithic apps we have. Um, and the benefits of the modular reuse and consistency are really starting to shine through as now some of these applications have increased. So the first lesson we learned, it's not all or nothing. Whilst we had some interesting people, interested people wanting to dive straight into Kubernetes and a whole host of other tools, a lot more people needed a bit more uh, demonstration of the benefits before they made any changes to their work patterns. So one team that I helped uh, were developing a web application using Subversion on their local PCs as they always had done. They could see some of the benefits of CI and uh, deployments to a testing server, but they weren't really ready to take the full leap. Um, we came up with an approach where one developer would check out code from Subversion, push it to Git, GitLab for CI and de deployment, but the rest of the majority of the team's workflow remained pretty unchanged. And while this is clearly not the ideal situation, it did improve their workflow. It provided structure, consistency, and it was a successful first step for them into DevOps. Uh, related to this, make it simple, sell it well. So when introducing cultural change, it's important to focus on the benefits it's going to bring to individuals to allow them to buy into the process willingly rather than it being dictated from above. So this approach may differ depending on who the target audience is. Um, it's important to think about how those DevOps practices may benefit different people in different teams. Are they interested in just pretty dashboards and graphs? Are time to market, deployment, business concerns their primary focus? Is it security? Or do they just want to get their job done faster by reducing manual tasks and overhead? One thing that we did identify was that although most people bought into the ideas of CI, um, the overheads of learning another configuration management were a bit too much. So we developed a Chrome app extension that allowed developers to build CI pipelines in a sort of plug and play manner tailored to our uh, infrastructure. Uh, leading on from simplicity, one size does not fit all. Whilst it can be tempting to shoehorn all your shiny new tools into every project, it's often not necessary. This is where a pragmatic look at your DevOps strategy is providing, what it's providing can really help separate the tools from the practices. So it's general, the people and the culture are much more important than the details of the tech stack or the exact tools you're using. The tools are just that, tools. Uh, they're not the end goal. So utilizing these tools in the best manner to help improve and ease workload for people, to build a culture around better development, testing, deployment, monitoring, that's the end goal. So the tools may change over time, but the underlying aims are more consistent. Hop number four, it's not one person's role. DevOps is too big and too much of a cultural shift to be one person's responsibility. It needs to be considered at the organization level. You don't want to be the person that everyone turns to to fix their CI pipeline. I've been there, it gets tiring. Um, it's much better for DevOps to be the responsibility of the whole team um, with maybe champions throughout the organization. It's also much better easier to embed it from the start rather than retrofitting to existing projects. And finally, if you ask Google or Twitter what is DevOps, it's clear there's not a complete consistency on exactly what the definition is, but I don't think this matters or needs to be a barrier to improving workflows at your organization. The key thing is to find what works for you and your circumstances. Um, one thing that's consistent across all the definitions you find, there will be some time overhead and investment to put in, but as long as whatever you're doing is improving whichever of the metrics you deem important to your organization, then go for it. Um, 
at the BGS. We're still early on in our stages in our DevOps journey, and I'm sure it's going to continue to evolve and uh, continue and develop as we go forward. Um, I thank you for listening. I look forward to talking to some more of you in the open spaces later about your processes. Um, thanks very much. Thank you.